Hello everybody, today we are here at the RDO dealer going to be uh, picking up a John Deere 8520T, so it's that tractor right there. If you recognize this tractor, that is the tractor from the video where we use the rotator to winch it on to our truck because the uh, big planetary gear in the back was completely locked up. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check out that video, it's in the description and it is also going to be here. So with that being said, the track, uh, the tractor is fixed now, so it should be running and it should drive right up on our bed. So what we're gonna do is transport it back to the customer. So let's go ahead and uh, get the bed down and do all that and get this tractor loaded up. so used to track machines being like an excavator, like two independent controls. This one just does it for you. It's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna kind of have to get an idea of like where these tracks need to be on the bed. I believe it fits on both sides. It's just gonna be the overhang that we'll have with the weight stacks. Two board 
boards in, one two boards in, so it's pretty good here. Let's see, we can come to the right a little bit. So I'm just looking down here at the tracks, and based off of that information, I can determine that I'm a little close or a little like too far that way, so I can come this way. Check, make sure that we're good. So we're right on the edge over here in terms of the track itself. And same over here, right on the edge. Okay, so our overhang is going to be the weight stack, so we'll have to throw flags and signs for that. Yeah. I think I want to get that weight stack as far up as I can. So we'll utilize the room that we have there. Go forward a bit. I think that'll be better in terms of ride. It'll ride a little bit better, you know? So let's go ahead and take it forward. So. go to the hitch itself, not the three-point which relies on uh, hydraulic. We'll go to the hitch here.
thing over here. Go right over the hitch. Jump. Alright guys, with the power of editing, we're going to go ahead and add all the signs around and then get down the road. So with that...
I already took the rear signs and the front signs off so we didn't have to do that on camera. It's just time consuming so the only thing left are these flags here. So I always tilt up and I take the rear chains off um, and I leave either one or two chains on the front. I'll do two on this one since it's a bigger machine. Um, the reason I do that is it's a safety mechanism in case something were to fail and it rolls away from me. Oftentimes with these Landalls you have to have the uh, bed up pretty high to unload equipment or buses or anything like that. So having a extra device to restrain it other than the parking brake. It's just a peace of mind thing. So we'll take these two rear chains off and then we'll tilt it up and lower it. about there and then I'll bring the axles forward and then from here on out it's just all feel I might need to go higher I might not it's feeling good right now what I'm feeling for is to see if this will pop up if it starts taking weight off of uh, the fifth wheel plate then I need to go higher but since all the weights up here in the front were were well okay now we'll start lowering it down we can uh, match the top deck height, maybe a little lower. Yeah, right about there. All right, let's start pulling these chains off.
I'm taking this last chain off, I'm watching to make sure it's not rolling away from me. I would indicate that the brake failed or something like that. But it's staying put, so we're good. Okay, so we're here in the tractor. Um, first things first, pull the steering wheel down to us. Clutch in, brake held, turn it on. I'm actually just gonna let go of the brake 